item difficulty analysis in SPSS is one of the method to evaluate the quality of multiple choice question exam. Item difficulty measures the proportion of student who answered the question correctly. Sometimes it is referred to as p-value stands for proportion or percentage value. Item difficulty value range from 0 to 1. 0 means that no student had answered the question correctly. So the question is an extremely difficult one. And an item difficulty of a value of 1 indicates that all the students had answered the question correctly and the question or the item is an extremely easy question. The way to calculate the item difficulty value is to count the number of students who answered the question correctly, divide that by the total number of students participating in the exam, and then multiply the product by 100 to get the percentage or proportion of the value for item difficulty. Here in uh, this sheet of Excel, I have an exam result for 38 students answering 76 questions from question number one to question number 76. Those are multiple choice questions. And each question, the score for it was either zero or one. Zero indicates wrong answer. One means correct answer. And to determine which one of those question is an easy and which one is a difficult, then we need to perform item difficulty. First, we need to copy these data and transfer it into SPSS to do the analysis in the SPSS. So to do that, click on the question number one and then drag and then scroll to the end toward question number 76, hold 76, hold the shift key and click and those questions from 1 to 76 are highlighted. Then click on shift together with control and with the arrow that's heading toward the bottom uh, and this will highlight the data that we want to transfer. Once these data are highlighted, right click and then select copy and then transfer this into SPSS in a new window of data view. Click on this cell and then right click and then paste the data from Excel into SPSS. And here I'm going to do a few editing and modification. I'm going to delete the first row and if we look at the variable view we need to do some editing for the changing the type of the data and lining the data and the measuring for the data and also naming the variable. We'll start with the type so since we have here a value of 0 or 1 or a score of 0 and 1 for each question, then we need to change this from a string into numeric. And the way to do that is you click on the cell here, three dots appear, click on them, and then a window appear here say, specifying what type of variable you want to select. So for this, we're going for numeric. You click on OK, and we do the same for the rest and so on. So I've missed the first one, so I'm going to also change the type to numeric. And uh, since once we started here, we can also select the cell and uh, then copy and then select the cells that we want to change the type, highlight them, then right click and then paste. All these cells has been changed a numeric. Now for the align 
Again, you click in that line, three options appear. I'm going to make it center for the second one also center for the third one also center. And to make it faster, I'm going to copy the first one, highlight and select all the one that I want to change and then paste to make them all center. And for measure, again, we're going to keep it as scale at this stage. Now for naming of the variables, they are all na named from variable one to 76. And I'm going to change that naming. So if we highlight that column here, all the variable, and then uh, click Control F for replace, find and replace, a window will appear for find and replace variable. And in the find, I'm going to type VAR000. And then I'm going to replace anything with VAR variable 000 with Q for question. And I'm going to do that for all the variables. So we replace all the variables. So we click on replace all. And as we can see here, all the variable name has been changed into Q number one to Q number 76 with the 38 cases. Now we are ready to do item difficulty analysis straight away. The way to do that is to click on analyze, scroll down to descriptive statistics, then scroll down to descriptive. In the descriptive, we are going to calculate the item difficulties for all the questions. So we're going to select all, control A, and then drag into the box of variables. Uh, under the options, click on the options and take the mini minimum, the maximum, the standard deviation and keep the mean. Because the mean in this case is the total amount of the correct answer divided by um, the total number of students participating in the exam. So the mean reflects here the item difficulty. So click on continue and then click on OK. The SBSS will generate an output, a table from question number one to question number 76. And in this question, there is a mean for each question, which is the average of the correct answer for every individual item or question. So this is the value here is the item difficulty or the p-value and it could be trans changed into percentage by multiplying it by 100. As a standard role, a rule in uh, calculating and evaluating item difficulty, any item which has a value for item difficulty between 0.41 and 0.6 is considered to be an acceptable, an ideal, and a moderate difficult question. Anything below 0 0.1, 0 0.41 and or higher than 0 0.6 is considered to be either a very difficult or an, a very easy question. So here for the question number one, the item difficulty is 0.18, which means 18% of the student answered this question correctly. So it is a difficult question. In fact, it is a very difficult question. The question number two has a value of 0.95 or 95% of the student answered the question correctly. So this indicates that the question is extremely easy question. Question number three, uh, had a value of 0.39 just on the border of 0.41 so we'll consider that as an acceptable question question number four has a value of 0 0.79 0 0.8 80 percent so this indicates that this is an easy or extremely easy question question number five has a value of 0.66 again this one will be included in the category for moderately difficult question. So we'll accept that as an acceptable question. So if you look, I scroll through all, we can see here 
there is 92% of the student answered the question correctly. Uh, so these, the way, this is the way to identify and determine which question is an easy question or extremely easy question and which question is an extremely difficult question or a difficult question. And so this, well, this way an examiner will be able to identify the question, modify them or change them and make the exam quality of a high standard um uh, for the student and um, to transfer this table i'm going to export this table into excel and save it as an excel file and the way to do that is to click on the table as it's highlighted in yellow and then right click on it and there is a function for export click on that export and I'm going to export that table into Excel, uh, which is 2007 and higher. And I'm going to save that in the folder for YouTube under exam questions. And I'm going to save it here as item difficulty. Choose the item difficulty here and save. item difficulties and I'm going to save it in under item difficulties and then if we click on item difficulty and save it here and then we made sure that this box for open the containing folder is ticked on if we click on ok again it will be exported and the file is saved uh, in item difficulty in the folder